A classroom at Gage Park High School on Chicago's south side was all a clamor with excited voices one recent afternoon. The reason? Long-awaited new art supplies were being passed out. The kids are here for an after-school matters arts program with artist James Jankowiak, who was once Your a teenager in the same paint, neighborhood. Your individual package of brushes, and then I'm going to come around and give each one of you an art pencil and an eraser. My mom graduated from that school. You know, uh, that's my old neighborhood where I was raised. You know, so I have a lot of, um, you know, uh, sentimental reasons why I'd, I'd like to be there. You know, so I came up with this idea of uh, a program that uh, focused primarily on contemporary art, you know, on living artists, um, on art, you know, socially conscious art, art that's, you know, about what's happening today, about what's happening in the world, about what's happening in people's personal lives with our culture, with other people's cultures. It's about music, it's basically all type of music, rock and roll, R&B, rap. Uh, okay. Maybe pop or jazz. Is everybody, is everybody ten inches? You can tell by the way that I made people small and they grow as it uh, goes around. Because more people love music every day, different types of music styles. You know, by by introducing kids to um, abstract painters before you know anything else, you know, before getting into narrative and you know and talking about perspective and shading and all this other fundamental crap, you know, that bores them to tears. Um, abstraction looks easy. And if that's the first thing that they see, it's much easier to ease them into to believing that they're capable of producing something that's important. The pitch is called the Trail of Tears, so it's going to be like a river of tears now. Why do you like that? Because I want to see, do I have any other ideas in my mind? And I want to show it to others. I grew up about, um, I, I guess, a mile east of Gage, a short mile east of Gage. It was really hard for me to kind of stay clean, you know, from uh, gang influence because it was just, it was everywhere, you know? And um, at the same time, when I discovered hip hop, and there was a facet of hip-hop that was for me in graffiti. Being a graffiti writer gave me the ability to go anywhere I wanted to in the city. It actually kind of gave me like a new set of wings to really get the hell out of there, but still have an identity that made it safe for me to come back home. Some of his students also look to art as a doorway to a bigger world. Made me decide to do a drawing of Abraham Lincoln because he one of my uh, idol, my favorite president ever. And why? Why is he your favorite? Why is he my favorite? Because he, he freed the blacks, <laughs> African Americans. Of course, uh, he was a big help. It's not just about art and expression, though. It's also a job. The kids are chosen through an interview process. They are given a stipend for their work, and they learn skills to help them get where they want to go. They don't need to have talent to be in the program. They, to be in the program, they need to be on time, they need to have a certain work ethic, and they need to roll the punches and just basically go along with the program and do what they're supposed to do. I don't judge them, you know, based on the quality of their work. I, I judge them based on the quality of their effort. One thing that I stress is that what we do in the classroom, you know, you know our, our projects are about problem solving not all about art. It's not all about visual art. And even if you're not going to be an artist and you're not going to take art any further than high school, you know, I'm still trying to train your brain in a way so that you're going to become a better problem solver, so that you're, you'll be able to apply things that you've learned here to whatever it is that you end up doing. Okay. Oh. There we go. Why not?